nearly in January. A couple of days to go till we're in January. And here's a New Year treat. Yes, it does occur in this country. This is probably the moth that every moth enthusiast dreams of seeing. It has three things going for it that a moth enthusiast requires in a moth. One, it's rare. Two, it's big. And three, it's beautiful. Oh, what is it? It's the Oleander Hawk Moth, Daphnis Nerei, and it's a stonker. If you're a regular viewer and returning viewer to this channel, you'll know that I've endeavoured to bring you some cracking invertebrates of all orders. Obviously, it's the butterflies and the moths that tend to be the more spectacular. And of those moths that I've showed you, many have been hawk moths, colourful hawk moths, and certainly most of the resident species of hawk moths we have here in the UK. Of course amongst the UK's moth fauna there are a number of migrant species and this absolutely stunning moth, the Oleander hawk moth, is probably the best hawk moth we'll ever get in the UK. It is very rare even on a national scale it's not really an annual occurring species and in Nottinghamshire there's been just a single record. That low Nottinghamshire record is fairly recent really in terms of historical notes and records and it dates back to 1985 and if I remember right it was found in a sort of kitchen garden area well, certainly one of the wall gardens in Clumber Park that was found at rest during the day. What a find that would have been. And that was without a doubt a wild individual. In the early 1980s when I was at my peak of breeding butterflies and moths you would never dream of ever getting livestock of this species certainly never became available during the time while I was actively breeding hawk moths and butterflies. This was just one of those items of dreams. One of those species, when you looked at it in the books, it was just, if only. Now, it's quite readily available from at least one entomological supplier and that availability made me want to purchase some eggs and rear them through for the second time. It's a few years, 2018 I think it was when I last reared this stunning hawk moth. And I must admit, it's just as much fun and rewarding the second time. It's a fabulous thing that in this day and age you can readily buy this species. It's not expensive, you might think it would be. Dread to think what it would have been in the 1980s had any been available, but they never were. Either were death sets at the time. And you'd be surprised how cheap these are. I think 15 eggs for a little more than 12 pounds. Then you just add on a bit of postage and packing. So this is a species that you can go out and rear usually appears for sale as eggs any time from sort of October or November it depends on the season 
and of course breeding success these aren't easy beasts to breed by all accounts and they'll certainly need a very warm temperature the larva like it warm this is one of two that Nick and Samantha Brownlee have given me and I gave Nick and Samantha Brownlee a number of eggs in the middle of November their development has been a lot quicker because they've been kept quite a bit warmer than what mine have and consequently Nick and Samantha's adults and one remaining pupa are probably a good three to four weeks ahead of mine the good thing about that is I can show you all three stages in one video and for good measure I'll chuck in a couple of photos or one photo of legs but what a species this is what a moth it's a large moth as well surprising thing about it it might not appear as large a bodied as convolvulus hawk which is another species that I showed a couple of months ago but the pupa is actually larger I think at least the one that I'm going to show you is actually larger than what the convolvulus hawk moth pupa were and here is the magnificent caterpillar of oleander hawk moth we're looking at it laterally from the side here and as you can see it's a beautiful sort of lime green almost mossy green just at the back of the head are those two fabulous eye spots the, the coloration of that and that blue on those eye spots is just phenomenal it's a beautiful thing and it's showing you them even better those two spots are sort of edged in black and then as it gets progressively towards the center of the spot it becomes white after having gone through that beautiful almost fluorescent blue really it's a beautiful pair of eye spots down the side of the caterpillar we have this sort of broad white stripe this stipple with almost splashes flecks of almost like white paint I quite liken it to looking along the edge of a spiral galaxy looking at one of the arms and then you've got the star sort of away from that main edge and that's what we have here if we look at it now more dorsally you see those spots come onto the dorsal surface the back of the larva they vary obviously in the number of spots and position of spots from larva to larva but the main feature are those two eye spots and that lateral stripe and the horn is virtually non-existent it starts off quite long and blackish when young it gradually becomes less and less and is now just that sort of pineapple coloured projection hardly worth having a horn but these are large and beautiful larva absolutely super so what's the pupa like well here's the pupa it is a very large pupa it's larger than at least the convolvulus hawk moth pupa that i've had recently and i would say is very close if not as large as many death set hawk moth pupa this one is close to hatching i think it may well hatch this evening you can see the wing markings of the adult moth inside you can make out those quite clearly the head is to the left as we look at it here the rest of the pupa various shades and markings but like a, a rich sort of chestnut brown they are beautiful pupa we'll have a look from above and here's the pupa directly from above that's that black line look running down the center of the thorax and that goes over the front of the moth and then runs down if we turn it over runs down in a line look where the proboscis is down this central thin line here with this being so close to emerging so the wing markings very plainly visible so i think this moth 
will be out this evening. It's a lovely pupa, and you can see large, active. Oh, to dig one of those up in the garden. I'm afraid it'll never happen. Finally, getting to film Oleander Hawkmoth. It's probably something that I'm never going to beat, to be honest. It is the most exotic of all the moths, really, that arrive in the UK. Has absolutely everything going for it, everything moth trappers want. It's extreme rarity. You're highly unlikely to ever catch one of these in a lifetime. Even if you live in that lifetime on the south coast, chances of catching one of these slim at best. And then you've got size. These are large hawk moths and coloration to top it all off. You've got a rare moth, a large moth, and the most beautifully coloured moth. The intricacies and shading and patterning on Oleander Hawk Moth is absolutely stunning. And then Mother Nature does that little bit extra, something extra that you, you don't really expect. If we were to design a moth like these, we wouldn't dream of doing anything like this. And those little markings almost create like a face-like pattern on the thorax with those eye spots either side. And then you've got those darker areas of the most beautiful, almost Lincoln green, which is quite appropriate where I'm filming this. And then even on the end of the abdomen, you've got those three areas of darker green. Stunningly beautiful moths. This is a species that I may well get in the future again at some time. But being able to rear these again a couple of years or so after I first reared them has satisfied the appetite. If you get the chance to rear these, then I would highly recommend doing so. I suppose they're not the easiest of hawk moths to, to rear, but just give them a little bit of warmth. You shouldn't really have any problems. And the larva feed on privet as well, so that is at least obtainable easily, even in the depths of winter. So, that is, or these are, the stunning oleander hawk moths. Quite beautiful, aren't they?